In the next few lessons, we're going to look at polymers. Now, polymers can be divided into two groups. They can be what we call addition polymers or condensation polymers. Now, addition polymers are synthetic polymers, while condensation polymers can be either synthetic or naturally occurring. Okay, so these are rather more complicated actually than the addition polymers to explain. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the addition polymers. So addition polymers are formed from alkenes, actually from ethene, and make use of the fact that there is a carbon-carbon double bond. Okay, so what's going to happen is that under high pressure and using a catalyst, this carbon-carbon double bond can open up to allow this ethene molecule to join on to another ethene molecule whose carbon-carbon double bond will then open up to allow that to join on to another ethene molecule. And so gradually, bit by bit, we get this chain of monomers forming into what we call a polymer. Okay, so before we continue, let's give some definitions here. This is called the monomer. So the ethene molecule here is the monomer. And that's going to be used to construct our polymer. Now these reactions take place at high pressure using a catalyst and the catalyst is vital in the process of opening up these double bonds. Okay so once this double bond has been opened up it can then link on to another ethene molecule. And so two catalysts that might be used in this process is concentrated sulfuric acid or peroxide free radicals. Now as I said we're not going to go into the mechanism but once again these are vitally important in opening up this double bond. Okay and so that's the monomer and so these can form very very long chain polymers made of thousands of polymer units. So the polymer unit in this case is represented using this diagram with the unit in square brackets and this n refers to the number of units in the chain so and so what we can say is that we're polymerizing n molecules of ethene to synthesize a polymer with n polymer units so the monomer in this case is ethene and so the polymer is called polyethene poly means many so that's many units of ethene, commonly known as polythene, which is used to make plastic shopping bags. OK, and the type of polymers used in this type of bag can have anything up to 10,000 polymer units in a chain. So N in this case could be up to or even greater than 10,000. Now, before we finish, we should just mention that we should show the polymerization equation using the chemical formula rather than the structural formulas because that often comes up in exam questions so just so that you're familiar with that and uh, what we have here then is n molecules of ethene being polymerized into n units of CH2 CH2 that's this C2H4 polymer unit here and what is often done is this unit is written within brackets like that and then the adjoining bonds pass through that bracket. I'm not sure why they do that but that's the way they do it okay so that you're familiar with it and that just means the repetition of n of these polymer units. Okay so you've got n molecules of ethene being changed into a polymer of n polymer units. Now polythene is just one example of many different types of synthetic polymer. In the next lesson we'll look at a few more different types of addition polymers which could be useful for your IGCSE or GCSE exams.